Hello friends, hope all of you are doing well. In today's session, we are going to continue our journey on literary criticism and theory, basically the block three, romantic criticism, which we have been doing for the last few sessions. I believe today is the 12th lecture in this regard. In today's session, we are going to discuss a very important work by P.V. Shelley that was published in 1821 and that is a defense of poetry. Now this particular work by P.B. Shelley was created in response to the four ages of poetry by Thomas Love Peacock. Now we'll discuss more about it but before we get started do consider to check out the links that I have pinned in the description. Those are some beautiful story narrations done by me which you'll definitely love and also do consider to check out the social community pages and do join it as well so that you can be updated about the latest IGNOS notifications. Now without any further delay, let's get started. Now before we get started, I would like to bring everyone's notice to the previous session which I have done regarding Plato's hostility towards art and how in the following up session I discussed about Aristotle's views on art and how he rejected Plato's views on art and he defended the fact that art is not inferior at all. Now this particular topic that we have done couple of sessions back, couple of lectures back draws a very similar point here because here we will see P.B. Shelley defending his point against Thomas Love Peacock in his work at Defense of Poetry. But before we get started, let us see what were the opinion and views of Thomas Love Peacock regarding poetry. In his work, The Four Ages of Poetry, which was published in 1820, he clearly states that poetry is of less use to modern man than it was in previous ages. According to Peacock, poetry passes through four distinct ages, just like four ages of man. Now let us see one by one what are the four ages which he has divided in case of poetry and he draws similarity to the ages of man. Now the first age is Age of Iron. Now this particular age Peacock has drawn similarity to the period of infancy. Now in this particular age, everything is crude and untutored. Now period of medieval folk ballads and romances were considered to be in this particular age, which is followed by the age of gold. And this draws similarity to the age of youth in case of man. Now we know that this particular youth is filled with energy and so natural genius is full blown. Now period of renaissance poetry is included in this particular age of gold which draws similarity to the age of youth in case of man. Now this particular age is now followed by age of silver which is your middle age. Now we all know that in age of middle ages we get lot of maturity. Now similarly in case of poetry the growth of imagination is pruned through rules. Neoclassical poetry of Dryden and Pope is included in this particular age that is age of silver and which draws similarity to the age of man that is the middle ages. Now, now it is followed by the last age that is age of bronze. Now bronze age is actually drawing similarity to the extremely old age of man. Now in this particular age poetry returns to an artificial simplicity. Poetry of romantic age is considered to be belonging to this particular age that is age of bronze. Now let us move ahead and understand what were Peacock's opinion regarding poetry. Peacock said that as civilization progresses, poetry declines and becomes a waste of time for intelligent people who would rather study natural and social sciences. Now if you compare his opinion with Plato's opinion, you will find a stark difference here. Peacock actually acknowledges that poetry at a particular stage was beautiful, but along with time as civilization progressed, it became unuseful to the intelligent people okay but rather in case of Plato he actually despised poetry because he considered art to be untruthful representation of reality and he despised art of all forms and he considered that in his utopian state there is no place for artists however Peacock's our opinion regarding poetry is kind of a subtle one where he believes that with time with the passage of time poetry's essence loses its meanings Peacock's essay caused sacred rage in Shelley and Shelley wrote a beautiful and brilliant treatise A Defense of Poetry in 1821. Clearly, when some, someone brings out a particular sensitive topic like this, obviously it is going to hurt some sentiments. In this case, it was Shelley and P.B. Shelley after reading the work of Thomas Love Peacock, he came up with his beautiful and brilliant treatise that is A Defense of Poetry in 1821. Now Shelley defines poetry as the 
expression of imagination now it again here we can draw references of aristotle with shelley okay because we remember that in that particular lecture i have discussed that how aristotle has rejected plato's opinion about art now in this case shelley as well defends poetry but in this case he has narrowed down the entire field of art because art again includes drama theater and lot of all our forms of art but here we are only talking about poetry so shelley defines poetry as the expression of imagination so according to shelley poets participate in the eternal and infinite poets are gifted with the political or creative faculty poets are not only the authors of language but also institutors of law organizers of civil societies and inventors of the arts of life so shelley in his work that is a defense of poetry tried his best to bring out all the positives regarding the poetry and to reject the opinion of thomas love peacock which was popularly mentioned in the four ages of poetry in 1820 Further Shelley said that architecture painting music dance sculpture philosophy are all expressions of the poetical faculty all those who have contributed to the enrichment of human civilization are poets therefore he says poets are the unacknowledged legislators of the world those who are not gifted with the poetical or creative faculty can never make any contribution to the human civilization now this is a very big statement that shelley has made obviously lot of us most of us actually are gifted with certain quality and there is a creative faculty as well so we can make a contribution to the human civilization and without this creative faculty it's not possible to contribute anything in the society shelley says that the finest passages of poetry are not the result of labor and study but the record of the best and the happiest moments of imagination poetry imparts pleasures of a higher and nobler kind poetry is a union of wisdom and delight it happens due to poet's contact with the eternal poet can inculcate the great moral force of love poetry can rescue civilization from doom especially in times when growing mechanism and materialism are dehumanizing people Shelley does not agree with Pe Peacock that poetry in his age is experiencing a decay rather he says a new birth a new upsurge of creativity now the point where he disagrees with Peacock the most is the part that Peacock claims that with time poetry the essence of poetry declines okay and he instigates the part he instigates the fact that this particular age is the page where poetry has reached its newest low however shelley defends it and sees that it is as a new birth a new upsurge of creativity shelley condemns the decadence of restaurants comedy of manners now we'll not go to the comedy of manners but that will take a different lecture of course shelley believed that poetry is a weapon of reform Shelley's own poetry is a great example of his belief system. For example, Ode to the West Wind. Now Shelley obviously led this particular thing with his own, you know, with his own endeavor, and that can be seen in his famous work Ode to the West Wind. Now in the particular particular work, he has actually set a great example. Now Shelley says that poetry is not mere art. Poetry is vision, a vision of the perfect world. So this is the video guys I hope you are an insight regarding the famous work by PV Shelley a defense of poetry which was published in 1821 in defense of poetry actually in literary sense in response to the work of the four ages of poetry by Thomas Love Peacock but in case if you have any other doubt regarding this particular work do feel free to comment in the comment section I'll definitely to try to address it and yes do not forget to check out the links which are some beautiful stories of love sacrifice time travel and much more you'll definitely going to love it and do consider to check out the social links as well the social community pages will help you to stay updated in the future regarding ignos any new latest updates till we meet next time god bless you and thank you all